for our usability testing, we tested the chromatic tonality. Here's our alarm clock, that's a feature of standard time and alarm, the sleep timer, and the radio. Our testing was done in 7th floor Maple Hall, which is a West Campus residential hall. The testing lasted about an hour and a half. Our objective was to test if users can sufficiently set the time, alarm, and turn off the alarm when needed. We collected the data on efficiency, effectiveness, and satisfaction. All our users are college freshmen who live in dorms with their roommates. We've also done background experience check with if they've used physical alarms before, where do they sleep, and if they have experience of being woken up. College students is an interesting user group for us because they need to wake up early for lecture and while they don't want to wake up their roommates. For our first task of setting uh, the current time, the process took around a minute and a half with the difficulty rating from 1 to 5, with 5 being the hardest, a round of 3. The process involved generally hitting random buttons until figuring out how to set the time. Overall comments were very negative, with many users saying the process was very confusing and, uh, and unintuitive. For the second task of setting an alarm, the time was much faster at around 20 seconds, and difficulty rating at around a 1 or a 2. The process involved hitting the correct buttons to set the alarm. Overall comments were more positive with users praising the alarm for having consistency. However, there was a, a criticism with no clear distinction when, for when an alarm is set. For the third task of setting, turning off the alarm, the time ranged from 2 to 12 seconds with an average rating around a 2. And the process involved hitting the snooze button first before figuring out how to toggle the switch to be off. Overall comments were more ne negative, with users saying how it would be difficult to turn, to turn off the alarm when waking up. Comments were overwhelmingly negative and included a few key ones from each user that described the complications of the product like there were too many features. However, as we can see with this chart, while the initial usability was poor, indicating a lack of intuitive design, the user was able to quickly adapt and responded well to the second and third tasks, creating an alarm and turning off the alarm. And while there were outliers, in general, there was a trend towards less time spent on task and an easier experience. So we were able to reach two key conclusions here. One, the design isn't intuitive, but it is relatively easy to learn. Once people learned how to change the time, setting an alarm and turning off the alarm became easier. And two, users agree that the product makes little sense given today's alarm clock technologies and phones. Our users left us with recommendations like having fewer and more distinguished buttons and a more aesthetic design. And in the future, one thing that may help conduct a more informative study is being able to record the user and revisit blurry points to draw stronger connections from the user experience.